we're gonna give this indoor Joy Cook indoor smokeless barbecue another crack before you know we try to cook with something there's Edie we try to cook with something uh, a couple of times before we uh, make an opinion so uh, we were camping last week we used it and uh, we're gonna cook some Cajun chicken today and uh, tonight we're gonna try to Potato. do baked potatoes and then we'll give you our thoughts so let's do some chicken so they recommend a cup of water in here Put that in there, and then put this this bad boy on, and then we'll light it. So similar to uh, last week's cook, we're gonna do chicken. Last time we did some uh, sausage as well, but I'm just gonna put this chicken on here. This is uh, Edie's Cajun chicken. It looks like it's big enough for for four chicken breasts. Uh, so we'll let that cook. Now I have this on sort of a medium medium to low setting. I think uh, last time we used it. Where is it? Last time we used it, uh, it cooked on high, and uh, so there's no temperature. There's no uh, thermometer on here so it's kind of guesswork but uh, I'm going to check the chicken to make sure it's 165 Fahrenheit with a uh, thermometer so we'll see uh, no smoke coming out of this thing of course we could use that yeah but we'll see how the chicken comes out so I'm gonna Flip these, Let's see what they look like. The one thing I notice is that's our barbecue grill over there. This you do not get grill marks on. While I think we will get perfectly cooked chicken, you do not get grill marks. So maybe that's a thing. Let's cook the other side. So there is a piece of chicken that was 170. This is the thickest one. These guys cooked out around 180 to 190, which Edie wants. She wants them to be overdone. So live on camera, I'm gonna cut into this piece of chicken. Live. You see that? That is a nicely cooked piece of chicken. This is excellent. And there's the heat. And this is really cooked quite well. Yours are going to be overdone. That's okay. I like it. How long did that, did that take? 20 15, minutes? 15, yeah. 20 minutes? Yeah. So there you have it. Cooked chicken on the Joy, the Joy Cook Indoor Smokeless Barbecue Grill. We're going to enjoy our lunch. I'm going to cook some potatoes later and then we'll leave our final thoughts. We are attempting to do a couple of potatoes and one sweet potato. I have that on low flame, right? We expect this to maybe cook for an hour. So we'll see how potatoes go. So these are the potato wedges that were cooked in the Joy Cook. You want to cut one open? Sure. Are they cooked? Yeah. Cooked over an hour, right? Yeah. So they're a little crispy on the outside, but they are definitely cooked on the inside. So there you go. Okay, cleaning. Is that all it is? No, I, I need to wash it with Soap you know, and water. Dish, dishwashing detergent and, and yeah. A mild detergent? Yeah. I just don't want all this going in the RV. So I'm trying to get as much off as I can. Here. Okay. So let's see. So there's some 
Well, that is, you can't get that out. What is that called? You know, like the barbecues have it. Do you know what it's called? No. But your food doesn't touch there, right? No. So, I mean, you know, do you have to spend a lifetime cleaning this thing? Uh, I'm going to try to get it's it. It's like a barbecue stuff. grill. Yes. Where you would right. use a bristle against it or some nonsense right, right. like that. Well, but I if have... this is not really touching your food, then overall impressions? Let's just do that so we can close this video out. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I understand how it's not bad. I get these smokeless, you know, if you're inside your RV. But was it something that I was saying, ooh, ah, you know, I can't wait to cook on it and, and, and eat? Eh. The food was the same. Just a, Except eh. it didn't have any grill marks. Right, no grill marks. I personally like to see grill marks on my steak and chicken, but that's, you know, that could be something that does not bother anyone else, you know, but I, it's a, it's a good product. I, I don't necessarily think it's a product for me. Okay. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, outside of the grill marks, I think it's fine. Uh, it's a lot easier to haul than this. This is an, a wacky shape and it weighs 50 pounds, but the food comes out really good on this. So I don't know what we're going to do. I guess if you see it in further videos, then uh, we kept it. And uh, if you don't, then uh, I wouldn't call it an epic fail. Uh, I would just say it's a product that doesn't necessarily work for outdoor campers like us. We cook everything outdoors. So that's our final thoughts on the Joey Cook smokeless barbecue grill. If this is the kind of content you like, please do me the biggest of favors. The thumbs up is the best way to help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified when we bring out new products. So that's it, Stew Beans, Edie's cleaning up the thing and uh, we're gonna call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one.